Hi, my name is Elizabeth Gunther, the chair of the Young Professionals Committee, and uh, today I'm going to be interviewing Laura Leonard, this year's Industrial Progress Award winner. My guest is a principal development specialist at UOP. She is one of the senior technology specialists for UOP's Olflex technology, which is a process of catalytic dehydrogenation uh, for the production of light olefins from their corresponding paraffins. Her work has enhanced uh, process performance at all of the Olflex units announced since 2010. Laura, tell me a little bit about your work that has led to this award. Yeah, when I started working on the Olflex technology in 2010, we were on the cusp of a huge wave of investment in on-purpose propylene and isobutylene. Um, and so the team that I led translated, you, we leveraged uh, UOP's state-of-the-art catalyst characterization techniques and translated that data into commercially re relevant solutions that we were able to do that fast enough to be able to impact all of those 20 plus units that have been announced since 2010. Wow, great. How, how do you see the role of chemical engineers changing in the future with respect to this field? Um, I think it's a really exciting time to be a chemical engineer. We have new sources of feedstocks that are being introduced with the introduction of shale oil and gas. Um, that's creating big changes in the market and driving new investment and creating a lot of opportunities, not to mention the opportunities that are created by having renewable feedstocks come into the market. I think it's also an exciting time to be a chemical engineer because the methods that we have for analyzing data and characterizing materials and analytical methods are improving every year, which gives us the ability to see more precisely the problems we're analyzing and develop more precise solutions to solve those problems. Um, I think we have the opportunity to continue to think outside the box as chemical engineers to make the world a better place and to do that in a way that's safe for the people in our plants and also is safe for the planet, making it, you know, developing sustainable technology. Okay, great. Um, what advice might you offer uh, young professionals? I, I think that the most important thing is to learn something from everybody you encounter in your professional career, whether it's the operators and the plants that you're running or the senior engineers and senior executives at the company that you're working for. I found that when I approach people with the attitude of that I'm going to learn something from you and you have something valuable to offer, that people want to work with me and they want to help me get done what we need to get done and it's really good for me and it's good for them so we all win. Um, I think the other thing is to make sure that you ask lots and lots of questions. When you ask a lot of questions as a young engineer, it shows the people you're working for that your mind is fully engaged in what you're doing and so they'll want to invest in you. Actually, most of my early patents were a result of me asking my mentor questions that made him think about things differently and so then um, my mentor, Peter Kokayak, was a co-inventor on Almost all of my, probably my first five to ten patents were because I asked crazy, whatever seemed like crazy questions, but um, allowed us to you know, be creative. So. Okay, wonderful. Well, Laura, I would like to thank you very much for sharing your thoughts and congratulations on your award. Um, so thank you on behalf sure. of AICHE and the Connected Community. Thank you.